All right, welcome back to the channel. We are finishing literally exactly where we left off last video. If you watched the last video, you'll know that I mentioned that I'm doing something today. Oh, of course you can't see. You'll know that I mentioned that I'm doing something today. So, well, we're getting seats, we're getting seats for the van. But the problem is I was supposed to meet my buddies like two hours ago. So as you can tell, I'm running late like usual. I just gotta get some tools and let's go. And I gotta get rad fluid for the car. I explained all this in my last video. You gotta go back and watch. I'm pretty sure it's here or here or whatever. I, I never remember. <laughs> and we went to a couple different scrap yards or yeah i guess they're called scrap yards trying to find some new seats for the or new seats for the van that are in good shape and every once in a while you do find some nice things today unfortunately i didn't find any which kind of bums me out like i was looking for it i'm like okay well i'm gonna get these seats tonight i'm gonna focus on making some brackets get them in the van and good and i didn't get around to that so that kind of sucks but i think instead it's been such a long time since the last time we had the van on the channel it, had to have been pretty close to two two years at this point. Wow, yeah, time really flies since the last time we had the van on the channel. So I think I'm gonna pull the van in the shop and then just go over what what really the van is. Cause I think I did one video on the van. It was really poor quality. It was before I had my good or good camera. Um, so let's just go over what the van is and what the plan for the van is and we'll go from there. Okay, so it is the next day, and like I said, like two seconds ago, unfortunately we didn't find seats for the van that we set up for, and like, which is fine, because these seats, they're not, they're not horrible, they're not great, but they're not horrible. I just thought if we had some more comfy seats, maybe I could uh, put like a heated and air conditioned uh, set in the seats, just something a little bit more comfortable. I wouldn't mind driving 13 hours or 14 hours in this van instead of the stock seats. So instead, my plan is I have, the van is just full of crap that just doesn't need to be in here. There's so much stuff. So I got to take all this out. And then after all that stuff, just inform you guys on like, like what even is this van and what's the actual plan with it? Like you guys know I'm turning into a camper already. If you guys watched my older episode, which was well, well over a year ago, maybe like a year and a half, actually almost two years ago, probably. But just inform you guys, like all you new subscribers on what the heck this is and what we're doing with it. <laughs> Okay, so as you guys just saw, I was emptying out the van like I said I would. Now the problem is I took out, I put like pop-out windows in here. So like this one's tinted, but this one's not. And the back ones aren't either because those are pop-out windows. So I had the factory windows, but the problem is I just put them in the van. But if you look really close, you can see like they're full of moisture, which kind of, and it's like, like thick moisture too. So it kind of concerns me because like, is this van gonna have like a bad moisture problem? Especially with like all the wood and, and insulation we have in here. And then I kind of remembered, or I, I remembered that like, if you look in here, I took out all the insulation in here. So, so maybe once I put all the insulation back in, I'll put all the vapor barrier up and then that'll stop that. I just hope it doesn't affect the foam too much. Like this is the foam I use. So obviously like if it gets moisture in it, it's not good, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And worst case is like once a year, once every two years, I just take everything out, make sure everything is good and dry. Or I put like a dehumidifier in here over like the off months or something like that, or the rainy season. Oh, even the vapor barrier is full of vapor, like it's soaking wet. Oh.
I know I'm rambling and not getting much work done, but this is actually kind of funny. So last year I was driving this van in the winter a little bit and it just had such a hard time keeping it warm because all the cold air going through the grill. So I just made this, like it's literally just cardboard cut out to the shape of the grill and then a hole so some air can go through, but not a lot. And this is such a me thing to do, is I made it and if you look down there, I actually signed the bottom and I put the date on it. <laughs> such a me thing to do. Finally got everything out of the van. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But now we have everything lined behind the van, beside the van, in front of the van, and parts everywhere. I couldn't believe how much this thing actually holds. But of course, now comes the tedious job of finding a spot for all this that's not the van. Because if I throw this all in the van, it's probably not coming back out for a long time. And I want to keep going on this van, just go nuts and just get it done. Or quote unquote done, the first part of the build done. Okay, so most of the stuff is put away now. It was pretty heptic in here, or heptic, or cluttered, or whatever the heck, it, I'm probably saying the wrong words. Anyways, so the van is actually cleared out, and I'm pretty sure I showed this already, but like, it looks amazing now. Like, before this was full of, well, wood and insulation and bins and just completely full right to the front. You couldn't put anything else in here. And now it's all nice and clear. So to catch you guys up to speed on what has happened to this van so far since the last time you guys have seen it, is I've completely done the wood. I laid strips of three by one and a half boards in the grooves of the van and I glued it down and then in, and like, like, um, like, like a frame pattern, so like rectangle. Anyways, so I glued that down. I put all the insulation in the floor and then I put this flooring over top of it. So the floor is completely solid. It's all insulated. After that, I got all the insulation for the roof done. It's not glued in yet. This bar that runs across the roof is what's holding in it because the bar is going to come down the insulation is going to come down. It's all going to get spray glued and the insulation is going to go back up. So it's not going anywhere. And then we're going to, the plan is to run like the knotty pine all the way across the roof. I think that's going to be the easiest thing to do. And then after that, I went out and bought a queen size bed. I believe this is. Wasn't really anything to modify to the actual frame. I had to make all these posts to keep it up because I got all those bins that slide perfectly underneath here and right now there's only five posts holding it on and like there's next to no movement on this which is amazing. I made this post it's just a really thick piece of metal like really thick I want to say it's eighth inch I think and then this big bar that goes up and then it's just bolted it no I don't even think I bolted it in yet. yeah so I haven't even bolted it in yet so like this actually pops out like that pretty easily but these bolts are on the floor are like probably about that long, but they're crazy thick. Like they're probably as thick as my thumb. Very, very thick, not going anywhere. Honestly, that's pretty much all we've done to the van. Like we did some engine work to it, like just a tune up and then something else, which is pretty cool. Oh, also we put these pop-out windows in. I know I mentioned that before. Before they were just like this really dark tinted window. And honestly, if we're gonna be camping in this or doing road trips in this, I want some nice airflow. So I found an 80s style Ford and I took the windows out of it. It had the barn style front doors, so I took the windows out of that, forgetting that I had the sliding door, so unfortunately I don't have that. But it's nice to be able to have this pop open, and there's a lot of room in between. So I have one in the back, this one in the back, and then I have this one up here. So they're all gonna be re-tinted. I don't want to have a camper that doesn't have tinted windows. I feel like that would be a little creepy. Not, not creepy, but like, I have other people staring into my van when I don't want them looking into my van. But I know it looks like not much is done, but I have all the insulation cut. It's already been in. Everything's been tested. I got the sides done for it. Uh, that was all just taken out because this bed was rubbing up against it. So I got to cut this bed a little bit here and then modify this piece that goes around here. So I have a corner. It's not just wide open here, but also be able to take it off because this is where all the lights are. Like this would be a pain to try and swap these bulbs out once there's all the insulation all the siding in same with this side everything's done this was hitting actually you can see this like this is where the end is right here and it goes way past so i'm gonna have to cut this here and i think i'm gonna end up having to order some sort of custom made bed like we're gonna put a piece of plywood on the bottom and then a really thick mattress because i don't want this little thin mattress and then you got back problems after sleeping this thing after six hours but that's pretty much it for the inside like that's all we've did it doesn't seem like much but we actually did a lot oh also these interior pieces here were full of holes i don't know from what but just full of them so like this would be for the seat belt so i didn't cover that these little ones 
have uh, the bolt that goes into the body but like like uh, well you can't see it but there's a hole there's holes here there's holes there the other one had this massive hole for a vent and I fiberglassed all those so these pieces are pretty much done they got to be sand primed and painted whatever the new color we want to do but without wasting any more time let me show you what we did to the engine that makes this van so much more different than all the other ones well, I tried to make this cool but now that I remember it it's a van and you can't see the engine in this stupid thing because most of it is covered by the rest of the cab yeah unfortunately you can't really see it which really sucks but if I go inside the cab, you will be able to see what I did. We got a buddy who's a mechanic who owns like an actual mechanic shop. And we were like, what is, what is it going to take for a 1976? This van's a 1976. What's it going to take for this van to run reliably? Like we want to take it, we're from Canada. We want to take it like through the mountains in BC and then here and then here, like Oceanside and all that. Like, and with a carbureted, like you got to manually just like the air to fuel ratio from here and here and blah blah blah. i'm like what is it going to take for this thing to run reliably start every single time and just run nicely and be good on fuel and he recommended a sniper a holly sniper efi kit and that's exactly what we put on this thing now i don't know a whole lot about mechanics or anything but this from what i was told this touch screen pretty much controls the whole system maybe i'll make a video getting in a little bit more into detail about that but since then like my mom took this van camping just threw some whatever in the and took camping i've been doing a lot of cruising in it it's a lot of fun it's it, tons of fun turn the key wait for the automatic fuel pump to shut off and then turn it and it starts up every single time and i love it so i don't want to drag this video on for too much longer just because like it's more of just what even is this like I mentioned the van all the time in the videos but I've only ever made one video on it so obviously like I mentioned the bed's gonna go here all the bins are gonna go under here I'm gonna try and find a way to put one or two or probably two more seats here so you can haul four people around and then pretty much right where the bed ends there all the way across there's gonna be a countertop for now we're not gonna put a sink or like any running water but maybe like down the road if we use the van then it would be worth having running water or just like just like a tank like not running water but like water on like a 12 volt pump so i guess i'd be consider running water then me personally i would love to put a retro sound radio in here you guys know i got it in the pontiac and it is amazing i love it put the retro sound radio in here and then maybe two speakers in the front and two speakers right in the back maybe even on these quarter pieces i never even thought of that I can make speakers boxes or uh, fiberglass speakers, pods, whatever, in the back. So that'd be cool. Then I have music all the way around. Maybe I'll think about that. And then, of course, GPS, because lots of traveling, and a backup camera, because this thing is a tank. It's massive, and you can't see anything behind you. But like I said, I don't want to drag this video on. I ordered up some stuff for this, and I'm just, I'm so excited to bring this van back to the channel because I'm excited to do some traveling this summer. Hopefully, COVID eases up a little bit in Canada, and we can go, like, I want to go to BC. Uh, all those places Banff would be cool and but if not like we'll do some camping around Manitoba or something like that Even if it's like a day trip or a two-day trip or three-day trip or whatever just around Manitoba That'd be fun. But anyways, I got a big mess to clean up I cleaned up a lot before but there's still so much left and I'm pretty sure there's water getting underneath the van and everywhere So I got to clean that up before it makes a big mess So make sure you like comment if you guys have any suggestions for the van if you guys have a van conversion or something like that and you have any good ideas comment down below i'd love to hear them and then make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys next time